Microsoft Loop is changing and there's six new features that you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of today. Because yes, if you're using Loop as your digital notebook or running it for a project or piece of work, some of these new changes will change the way that you work with Loop. And before we dive into them, I'd like to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, TeamFlect. TeamFlect sits on top of Microsoft Teams and Outlook and gives you the tools to improve how you can manage performance of your team. If you'd like to find out more on how you can improve goal tracking, task management and more, check out the link in the video description below. So just like TeamFlect, let's go and find out how Microsoft Loop is changing the game. So I know you've now joined me in Microsoft Teams and you're probably thinking, where on earth is Microsoft Loop? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna answer that question for you because the first feature to let you know about is how we can now access Microsoft Loop through Microsoft Teams. Yes, all you need to do is go to the left-hand side of Teams, click on the freed up menu, and there we go, there's Loop. If you can't find it, just search for the word Loop under the search for apps and you'll find it here. When you left-click Loop, you'll then see it appears in the left-hand navigation of Teams. To keep it inside of your Teams navigation bar, right-click, and then select pin. Now you can see that the Loop app is available through Teams, meaning you can access all of your different Loop Pages components, open them directly in Microsoft Loop through the Microsoft Teams app. Yes, no more clicking away and access all of your Loop content quickly through Microsoft Teams. And now we're in the Loop app, you might see something slightly different. On the left-hand side, we're in Project Green Space as a Loop workspace itself. But on the left, you can now see I've organized my content in a way that we'd normally see inside of OneNote. Yes, we can build hierarchies inside of Microsoft Loop through a new capability called Subpages. Here I've got my Project Green Space. I have a Project Scoping area, and beneath that, project resourcing and budget, which is all relating to the actual scoping element of Project Green Space. We can easily click into project scoping. We can even see that the pages are here shown as sub pages under project scoping. Left click, we're taken straight into them. We'll just use a navigation bar on the left hand side of your loop workspace. But how can we create additional pages to appear like this and create these hierarchies, a bit like folder structures? Well, all we need to do is right click the page that you would like to create a sub page for, or you can click on the freed up menu, then select new sub page, give your page a title and also an icon. You'll now see on the left hand side, your project risks and issues is now appearing as a sub page. You can also left click and drag it down inside of loop to appear in any order you would like, which means now we can create hierarchies and structures inside of loop to reorganize and develop your content in a way that suits you. And in our new sub page, we've got a table of all of our risks. We, what we can also do in Loop is get notifications when things change. Now here, I wanna keep a close eye on what happens to all of our risks. It might be currently shown as open, but when they get closed, I wanna be notified in Loop so I can check it out and make sure it's been closed off correctly. And I don't have to do that by refreshing the page and keep on checking daily. No, using new in-app notification capability, what we can do is create a new rule to do that. Here, we'll go to the freed up menu, select rules, and now we can see we can create a new rule. Let's go ahead and select open or closed. And we'll also select it that when it becomes closed, I would like it to automatically notify me inside of loop. By left clicking, we can now add the people in loop to notify. I'll put my own account in here, so we can test this out. When I've confirmed and created the rule, all we then need to do is go into here and we can mark one of these as closed. We'll then see we get notified inside of Loop that this change has been made. And we can then see inside of our Loop notifications that when I've made that change, we can see it's been marked from open to closed and left clicking it will take us straight back to that table. So you can build your own in-app Loop notifications to keep you in the Loop when things change using rules and automation. So before we get looped out, let's also consider today's video sponsor, TeamFlect. TeamFlect lives on top of Teams and Outlook and provides a simple way to be able to manage the performance of your team. Yes, a place to track your one-to-one -one meetings, 360 feedback, and also track goals, all inside of Microsoft Teams and Outlook. If you'd also like to get started and try it out for free, if you have less than 10 users, you can do exactly that and find more details in the link in the video description below. So if you need to improve the 
management of your team, go and check out Team Flect. Otherwise, let's dive back in to those new features in Loop. And one simple change is now in Loop that many of you asked for. If you ever tried to print or save a page as a PDF in Loop, you may have been disappointed. You never really could do that, but now you can. Inside of Loop, go to the free dot menu. You can now see a new option to print and PDF export. If you left click, you'll now see how it appears in your print. You can also, in this dialog, go ahead and change this to be saved as a PDF copy using the additional settings you've got available. And as you can see, we can see a print preview that print correctly if I needed to print it. I need to save it to a PDF? Well, of course, you can use Save as PDF or Microsoft Print to PDF to take a copy locally and save it elsewhere. So now printing and exporting to PDF is really easy in Loop. And if you work with websites and need to share them inside of Loop, you may have found you're frustrated because when you copied and then pasted a link, it would just appear as a blue link. Instead, what you may have wanted to see was a preview of the link content, such as a website. Well, here in our Loop page, we've got an area dedicated to planning. I've taken a link from the web from the UK government around the planning inspectorate. Here I've pasted that link in and you'll see in loop it previews the content. Yes, we can see icons, previews and link itself. To access, just left click and it'll go ahead and then you can browse it on the web. But it now changes your links into something much more visual and also helpful to people that engage with loop pages. So all we need to do is copy and paste to use new link previews inside of loop. And a really important one is be able to share content with others externally that do not have an account in your organization. This is often asked inside of Loop about whether it being possible because you could do it in apps like SharePoint or Teams. Well, in this scenario, here is all of our project risks. And I might have a risk manager who works externally needs to keep on top of all of this content. Can I share it with that risk manager? I absolutely can. Using this new capability, all we then need to do is go ahead and we can share. By selecting page link in the top right and left clicking, you'll see it creates an internal sharing link. By clicking settings, we can go a little bit further. Let's go ahead and select people you choose. And now you can add in an external account of your choice. I'm gonna go and add an Outlook account as a third party to access this Loop content. You can then see that now that account has been added as a third party and Loop is aware of that with no restrictions. This always follows your SharePoint policies and allowing to share if it's possible inside of SharePoint or OneDrive. You can also go further and change the type of access they have and even set expiry dates and when the expiry actual will end for that sharing link that you're gonna send out. But if you're happy with not putting any expiry date, go ahead and click apply and it'll create a sharing link for you to utilize and share with the third party. All you now need to do is paste it into an email and share it and they can access Loop directly from their own account as a third party to your organization. So what do you think about these six new features in Microsoft Loop? Are they gonna change the game? I'd love to know in the comments below because I do feel that having the ability to create sub pages makes Loop a lot easier to use, especially as your new digital note-taking app. Now, of course, if you feel there are some features missing, I'd also love to know in the comments. And of course, a big thank you to TeamFlect who has sponsored today's video. You can find out more information about TeamFlect in the video descriptions below. If you haven't already, hit that like button to let me know this content has helped you, as well as hitting that all important subscribe button so you can learn to use these tools that you already have on your computer in much better ways. Other than that, well, I'll be seeing you in the next one.